Hello and welcome to Fun Food and Facts. We are going to do the surprise cake tonight and we're going to do it with no practice. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you a little tougher tip. Never, ever, ever do this without practicing. Ever. You want to always practice this first. And I could have practiced it first, but I thought it'd be more fun um, tonight just because it's us, you know, and we can learn things together and it might be funny because when I cook anything, it sometimes is. So we have the stat cooker. So I know a lot of you guys um, are very familiar with the stat cooker, um, but I'm going to let you know just a couple tips on how I sell the stat cooker. Um, so first of all, it's on sale for $79. As you know, in the sale flyer right now. And so a lot of times I don't get the sale flyer out in the very beginning. I usually give that out later um, if there's something like this on sale because I will demo the whole thing and say how great it is and how wonderful and yay, yay, yay. And then I will say, and you know how much? And I say it all the time, it's 114 in the catalog or I think it's 119, 114. I'm sorry, I'm not in the catalog in front of me. It's 114 in the catalog. It's 114 in the catalog. And you can get a half price, so you can get it free. And then I'm like, hey, don't you guys want a deal of the day? How about getting it for $79? And people kind of freak out. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I usually sell them. Because if you say $79 first, it's a lot of money. And this is a tip that I'm going to give you ladies to use with your husbands. If you have a husband or whoever else, if you want to buy something more expensive, I do this and it works. Honey, I really want these shoes. How much are they? 300 No, but I really want these shoes. And I don't really want a pair of $300 shoes. And I'm like, $300's not that bad. No. Fine. Can I get these? How much are these? $99. Fine. That's how you do it, people. That's how it's done. And that's how I get. I mean, just gave you my tips. So that's how you sell it too. Do you want to buy it for 114? No, you don't. You want to buy it for 79. Okay. So, you know, we have the top, which is the lid, the lid and the top. You know, we have the comb. We're going to use that. You know, you have this little center thing that you can actually put um, brown, ground beef and brown ground beef in here. It's very simple and easy. And it's actually very, very healthy for you to do. Um, Pam Cliff told me once this tip and I thought this was really nice. Um, I would, uh, Clearly, Corky isn't home to hear. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> You're right. He's at work. She gave me this tip once, and she said, um, you know, when you buy better uh, meat, it, it costs more money, but you do that so that it's less fat in it. And she said, you could actually save your money and buy the cheaper meat because all of that fat runs out. And I'm like, that's a really good tip. Um, then you have your middle, and then you have your bottom piece. We're not using the middle piece tonight, which is fine. We're not using the colander tonight, which is fine. But you take all of these pieces, and then you talk about the seals and how you have your not now dishes, and you put the seals on, and then you put it in the refrigerator because that's not now dishes. Why am I telling you this? Because if you just take the pieces that you need or only talk about the pieces that you need, they don't understand. When you're demonstrating a product at a party, you're demonstrating a product. That's our job, you know? When they say Tupperware sells itself, yes, once you demonstrate it, okay? So it's not you being salesy, it's you letting them know the features and the benefits. If you go through each piece and you tell them, like I just did with the calendar, you can brown your ground beef in here, you know? You can do a three course meal. You can do, you know, your, your rice and your quesadilla or your uh, enchiladas and your corn and you give them examples and you make them visualize it. And you talk about the seals and how you put the seals on it. It's so nice to have the seals and you just put them in the refrigerator and you have your not now dishes. Take all my words. I don't care. This is not sealing. We share. But I just want you to and say, oh, we're going to use this piece and this piece tonight. But go through all of the pieces. This is how you sell. This is how you demonstrate. It's not even selling. This is how you demonstrate so that people want to buy it. Because when they buy it, if they don't know the other pieces, then you didn't you know, do a good job always, you know, I don't say that you didn't do a job because that's happened to me before. I'm like, oh, I must not have explained it properly. And then number two tip I'm going to give you about selling this is, um, the, the, uh, cookbook or the recipe book. It, it's online on a PDF. There's like 35 pages of it. Put it on your computer as a PDF and then everybody who buys it, send it to an email thanking them. Thank you so much. It was so wonderful to meet you. Blah, 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 right. Let them know in an email that you appreciate them. And then you make your customer care calls. If you're not making customer care calls, well, then you better be because you need to, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say, if you, well, if you're not, it's okay. No, 
I'm bossy. You know it. I'm going to tell you what you should do. Make your customer care calls. You usually do it. I do it personally three to six months afterwards. And I'm going to call ring, ring, ring. Oh, Marsha, you bought the stack cooker. This is Samantha with Tupper. You bought the stack cooker at Patricia's party four or five months ago, whenever it was. Can you tell me, do you love it? This is what I get. Oh, you know what? I haven't got out of the package yet because I forgot how to use it. Then I've done this. Well, I think that that's just a shame. You spend so much money on it. It's a great product. So why don't we just do a really quick cooking demo at your house with just two or three of your girlfriends over and I'll re-show you how to use it. I'll use yours at the house. Sound good? Now you got a party out of it. <sighs> Customer care calls, they work. Okay, so um, let's put this aside because I need my phone because it has the recipe on it. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm actually nervous about this. Okay, so grease and flour, the Tupperware stack cooker, three quart casserole condenser. No, I don't grease and flour my stack cooker. You can, I'm not gonna. Okay, um, in the small micro pitcher, which I have, which I have nicknamed the duck, you know, I do, it just, that's how you, and when you nickname things, people remember that. So I'm like, oh, do you want to buy the duck? Right? So you can uh, put this in the microwave. I don't know if you know this or not, but it actually has teaspoons and tablespoons on the top. It's like indented in. So you have your dry and you have your liquid. And it's just, this is nice. You got to have it. So we need to, in a small micro pitcher, add butter. Microwave and high for 25 seconds. I have butter. Where's my butter? Right here. And how much butter do I need? It says I need one cup. Look at this right here. It says that a half a cup is eight tablespoons, and I need one cup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I need two sticks. Two sticks of butter equals, what did I just say? I don't even remember. Two sticks of butter equals one cup. Who knew that? Comment and let me know if you knew that. And if you didn't know that like me, Okay, that makes sense, I guess. I need a Tupper towel. I need a Tupper towel. I only have one stick out. Let me grab the other stick. I thought I only needed one stick. I thought, man, that's a lot of butter. But, oops, I dropped butter on the floor. Don't you think two sticks of butter is a lot of butter? Oh, you knew it? I knew it, I knew it. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, I didn't know that, so that's okay. But I think two sticks of butter is a lot of butter. But you know, butter and sugar make all the difference in the world. I would have just used a box of cake, but this is making us actually use the cake. Like make it, and I'm making it with gluten-free flour. So you shove it down in there like so, and then you put it in there for 25 seconds. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get a microwave right here. This gonna be 30 seconds because mine is so, mine's just a little quick add 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, what do we do next? We, Remove from microwave and transfer to the base of the Power Chef system with paddle attachment. Mine's green in my kitchen. All right, so I'm going to give you a little Tupper tip here that if you don't put the liquid in before this, it won't work. I have done this at a party. It's embarrassing. And recently I watched a video of someone not do it. Pretty sure she was embarrassed too because it happened. So put the liquid in first. That 30 seconds was quick, right? Okay, let's see. All right, let's see, I got some comments. Um, the more the better, I agree. You're making it homemade, so it's really not a lot. Oh, oh, okay, good, good to know. This is not all melted. Is it supposed to be all melted? Should I put it in for 30 seconds longer? Well, let's pour in the melted part, and then, well, no, it's kind of, it's good, it's good. Man, this is already messy. This is already messy. Okay, guys, if you want this recipe, you can actually look it up and follow along with me. It's under the Salesforce um, Salesforce website recipe, May birthday month. All right, so now we need to add sugar. And then we need to pull the corn. How much sugar? Two cups. So does anybody know my rule? If it says two cups of sugar, how much sugar should go in it? Anybody know? I actually don't eat sugar anymore because I'm not allowed to have it. It's very, very sad. Sad day in, in this life. Um, but I think you should, ooh, I think you should add more, right? So one cup and then two cups. Just let's add a little bit more. 
Just a little bit. Just a little. You know, I mean, someone who is going to gotta eat it. Um, well, it's true, Patricia. It's true. Okay, now we put the top on. I'm going to pull this down so you guys can see. I got to put the top on right. Like so. Again, this is why I practice before I ever go to a party because then I look like a pro at the party. I do not look like a pro the first time I make this. Ever. All right, ready? Maybe I put too much sugar in. <laughs> but it's working. All right, and actually, let me read why I'm doing this. Until butter and sugar are blended, and then you transfer to a medium bowl. Does it look blended? It looks blended. Actually, it looks like a lemon sorbet, you guys. It's not, I don't think, but it does look like it. We're going to transfer it to my pink bowl. This is my pink fix and mix bowl that I got years ago when it was on sale at Valentine's Day. And I was like, I'm not giving this bowl up. I love this bowl. And then you need a spatula, saucy silicone spatula. Baking is science. You know what I got in science growing up, even from like very early on? I got bad grades in science. I never understood science. Never, never. All right, getting everything in there. Woohoo! All right, now what's next? I don't know. It says mix in eggs. Cream, yogurt, vanilla, baking soda, and cornstarch. Do you mix it in here or do you mix it in there? Do you mix it in here or do you mix it in there? In your bowl. Thank you. Okay, wait a minute. I have some comments. Hang on, what they say? Um, an F. Yes, well, I didn't get an F, but sometimes I did. What is she making, Sue says? I'm making this. I'm making a mess. This is what I'm making. This is what it's supposed to look like when we're done. Okay, so, um, eggs. Oh, I forgot the eggs. Hang on, I got eggs. I didn't want to get this out beforehand because I was afraid it would melt, so I kept it in the fridge until I needed it. So, it says four eggs is what you need. So, let's put in the four eggs. You guys know this trick? You take two eggs and you smash them together and only one does it. Ready? One, two, three. Look! Every single time. We used to have um, a vice president named Gary, and he taught us this. I thought that was cool. In the sink. And then, there you go. In the sink. And then we need two more. Smash. Ready? Smash. So fun. Teach your kids this. They'll love it. In the sink. And in the sink. All right, let's see what comments we have. Um, oh, I'm glad I picked this recipe too, Tanya. As long as you're making this recipe or this cake with love, it'll taste good. Oh, I like that. My husband says that too. You do not put eggs right in the mix. You always crack into another bowl first. You didn't say that. It doesn't say it on the directions. So explain to me in the comments why, because that didn't say that. It didn't say that. Now we have the cream and the yogurt. So I have the heavy whipping cream. How much do we need? One cup. Gotta shake it. Okay, ready? One cup in like so. And then we have to use the yogurt and the vanilla. So how much yogurt? Half cup. It says plain. Do you know how hard it is to find plain yogurt? It's really hard. I had to get vanilla. I think it'll be okay. Where's the half cup? There you are. Half cup. Oh, yogurt's so gross. Sorry if I yucked your yum, but I think it's gross. I can't believe it's on a cake. Cakes are supposed to be yummy. My husband's gonna come home and be like, what did you do tonight? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Okay, I have some comments. Okay, hang on one second. I'm gonna read them, but let me get these in, okay? Um. Yogurt and the vanilla. We need vanilla. Two tablespoons. Wait a minute. Is it TS or TB? Wait a minute. TBSP. Tablespoon. So it's the big one. 
the big one. The big one. I hope so. That's a lot of vanilla. Isn't it a lot of vanilla? Maybe I should check with you guys. Is that what you do? Is it a teaspoon? Am I doing two of these or yes? I don't know. T S. No, it says T S T B S P. So I think it's this one because it says T. It says it right on it. So I'm gonna do it. It's a lot of vanilla, but maybe it's because it's like from scratch. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> record this. <laughs> I don't think I want proof. <laughs> All right, what's next? Um, Cornstarch and baking soda. Cornstarch and baking soda. I have those. This is, this is the small one, TSP. Got it. Got it. A bowl. So we got cornstarch. And did you know that some cornstarches is not gluten-free? This kind is. This does not mean that I can eat this, because I can't, but I'm just saying if you're making something for somebody who's gluten-free, and we're gonna make this with gluten-free flour, and I have no idea how that's gonna work out, but we'll try it. All right, what's next? Are we almost done? My gosh. All right, corn starch, stir in flour until blended and smooth. Batter should be thick. Okay, how much flour do we need? Flour, flour, two cups. Two cups of flour. I have everything in my modular mate. Oh, well. Hmm. Let me show you. For some reason, Corky decided to put them in the bag and not like in the thing. I don't know why he did that, but we're going to just do it this way. Two cups. One. And two. All right. So now we mix. Right? Let's mix. I've got a spatula right here. It should be a thick batter. So we're mixing. That is not a cup. It was so a cup. It said one cup right on it. It said one cup, dude. One cup. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I can't make that up. You're supposed to sift the flour after, I, shift the flour? What the heck does that mean? It doesn't say that in the directions. You guys, I'm reading it right from the Tupperware website. It says you need a baking class. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm all right, we're gonna make this work. You know, it's working. I actually kind of feel like I'm making a paste. That's what it feels like. I don't have any um, beaters. I guess I should get them, but I don't have any. So we're gonna do it by hand. Now this is the part of the party that I'm like, who wants to do this for tickets? Cause I don't really like to do it. Quit picking, yeah, quit picking. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, quit picking on me. I'm doing all right, it's working. Should I put more flour in? I still want a piece of the cake when it's done. Well, you can come to California. Well, wait a minute, is that Sandy? She's in California. You can come to me and get a piece of cake. I would be happy to share it with you, Sandy. She is in California, so I can't say come to California because she is. <laughs> power Chef. It doesn't say to use the Power Chef, Pam Callahan. It says to do it in a bowl. Otherwise, I would have done it in the Power Chef. The first part said Power Chef. It did. Mm. Okay, so. I'm almost done, but I wonder if it should be thicker than this. So tell me if I should add more, because it says it should be thick. And it's not like, it's kind of not thick. Callie already made this cake. Callie, do I put more flour in it to make it thicker? Because it's not thickening. We'll just do it anyway, it's fine. Oh no, I, I didn't use the Tupperware recipe. I just used a box cake. <laughs> well, crap! That yeah. is it looks fine to me. But it's not thick. No, don't eat more, don't eat more, don't eat more, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just did. It's okay. It's not thick. It's fine. And I don't think I put enough in. Like It's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be runny like that. Oh, well, I didn't put that much. Let's just mix this in. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I got to mute myself again. Johnny says it looks fine. Johnny, you're my kind of person. <laughs> All right, it's okay. You're, I actually like that you took yourself off mute because that makes my life easier. It's thicker. That's, this is the way it's supposed to be. This is the way a cake is supposed to be. I'm telling you, I know this. I know this. Okay, it's all mixed together. Let's see what it says. It says, use a spatula, transfer batter to the, the um, cooker, the, the stack cooker. And then put it on high for 12 minutes. Wait a minute. We'll read the next step after, because that looks difficult. I'm like, what the crap does that mean? But this next step, I can handle. There's the cone. We're going to pour it in. Yeah. Just like so. Using my spatula as I go. I'm a rapper. Did you know that? Okay. This looks good, guys. Ha! That's how it's done. Right there, baby. That's how it's done. All right. 12 minutes, and then we're going to read the next step because I need your guys' help. And then I'll read some comments because you guys clearly have a lot to tell me. And I'd like to know what you Sam, put the, so, Sam, don't let the lid be on. Why? The lid's always on. I've no, never... put the lid underneath. Dude, I've made for eight years cakes. I've never done that. If you do it, it works out better. I did it both ways, and I like it the other way, like that. Put it yes, in the microwave, like that. Don't cover the cakes. Who said that? <laughs> Becky. Becky. <laughs> Becky said that. That's weird, Becky. Don't ever cover the cake. I've never covered the cake. You're also I supposed to let it set for a minute or so. Think I know what I'm, doing. I'm gonna tell you, you guys might not think I know what I'm doing, but for eight years I've been in this business and I've never covered the cake and my cakes always look good and people love them. But I'm gonna trust you because I love you and I trust you. There's a lot, a lot of comments. That's okay, read my comments, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Before I read the comments, I want you to read out loud what it tells me to do because I'm scared of the next part. Are you ready? All right, so um, remove cake from stack cooker by turning cake upside down onto a cutting board and let it cool. I know that part, right? But the next one says, cut cake into three layers. Frost the top of each layer, leaving the open hole in the center and the stack layers. How do you cut a cake in three layers? I couldn't cut cheese last week. Remember, guys? Do I well, use first, We're not going to use the cheese exactly. knife. You're going to use the bread knife. Yeah. And then you got to go sideways. I don't know which one the bread knife is. The big There's long one. Jackies. The oh, big yeah. straight one. I knew that. Okay. Well, I can do that. One lady told me to use dental floss. That's weird. I have done a floss. I've actually heard that before, but I've never tried it. Let's I don't know if I want mint in my cake. <laughs> okay, but OMG, she's not making it level. I leveled it. Oh, you're talking about, okay, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to shift the flour. I don't even know what that means, but okay. Um, I mean, uh, sift. Sift? Like do a little, a, like a little metal mesh I thing. Sifter, but I didn't say that. Well, you don't. I'm that. impressed. I be using my mixer for sure. Good workout. Thanks, Sandy. Mm -hmm. um, you do or do not do this. I did it, I'm sure. Spray first. No, I did not spray. I do not trust the sprays. Can you grease the stack cooker? No, I did not. To be perfectly honest, I didn't have any grease and I don't use the spray stuff. I can see why Quirky does the cooking. <laughs> I'm more concerned about your phone Bring right next to the bowl and how much flour, I don't know what that means. Where is? Being right next to the bowl of batter rather than how much flour you're putting into the batter. With my phone? Oh, I don't handle it. It's got stuff on it. It's got case. <laughs> um, okay, I read all the comments. So thank you for all the comments. <laughs> that was nice of you. But we have to wait 12 minutes. So let's go through and do some romper room, shall we? 
Hello, Marsha. Hello. And we have Elizabeth Tor Tornes or Torns. Torns, I bet. I bet you it's Torns. Was I right the first time? Tornes. Torns. Elizabeth, comment to tell me okay. who's Tornes. Tornes. Whose team are you on? Marsha. Marsha. Aw. Yay. Do you guys live next to each other? No. No. <laughs> And hello, Tanya. And hello, Patricia Frisch helping me out tonight. And hello, Regina and Chris Castro and Char. What's up, Char? And hello, Chris. We have two Chris's on. That cooker doesn't stick anyway. Yeah, mine never did either. Hello, Kendra. Hello, Sue. Nice to see you on. Hi, we have some Sandy, my girl Sandy. What's up, Kelly? Carol's on. Hello. And hi, Lydia. Hi, and let's see, Laura Myers. Hi, Laura Myers. I, have we met, whose team are you on? Laura Myers, Laura Myers. That sounds really familiar. Tech, tell me. Um, Veronica, hello, Veronica. Hi. What's up, Johnny Blue? How are you? And then we got Nadine Calloway and Becky Finkelman and Melissa Harpernick. Hello, everybody. Welcome tonight. I know if you are first time on, I will tell you this is not typical of what usually does happen on Fun Food and Facts, but I wanted to do something different. Don't you guys want to do something different sometimes? So while we're doing this and waiting for this to cook, I also want to tell you that I have an idea for Mother's Day. It's not for sure, but I would really like your guys' thoughts. I would love to have your mother's favorite recipe, if you could send it to me by personal message or email. And then I wanna go through them and see if we can find like two or three of them and we can Tupperize them um, so that you can use your mother's favorite recipe in Tupperware. Um, and it, I just thought it'd be kind of nice. Maybe I can make a little recipe card, especially if you get chosen, if it's your mother's favorite recipe. And you know, because some of our mothers have passed, mine has, and, and we don't have our mothers, but we have our, their recipes. I know Jenny Cheatham wants my mother's and my grandmother's that's been passed down to me, Buckeye recipe, because it's the best Buckeye recipe ever. You can ask her, she'll tell you. And I won't give it to her. <laughs> but, um, but maybe you have a special recipe that was your mother's and we can do something nice because, um, you know, I mean, some of us, we miss our moms on Mother's Day, and whether they're not here or maybe we don't live by them. And uh, so I thought this would be, that'd be something nice to do. Actually, it was Jenny's idea. Um, we don't usually heckle the demonstrator. Yeah, you guys heckled me a lot tonight. Can we send pie recipes? Yeah, please. Because, I mean, there are ways to Tupperize that. Send me recipes. Send me on personal message if possible. If we're not friends on Facebook, you should be friending me on Facebook. I would love to be your friend. You do not put eggs right in the mix. You always crack into another bowl first. Why? Because if there was a bad egg, you contaminated a bad egg. I checked them at the store. I opened the thing. There wasn't anything bad. We'll talk later. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm hoping we'll do for Mother's Day. It's not for sure, but I want to see what recipes I get. So send me a personal message um, and let me know because I thought it'd be nice. I have one of my mother's favorite recipes I was thinking about maybe doing, but we'll see, you know, we'll see. I would like to do your guys's and then we can turn them into like a little cute recipe and, uh, and then I can send it to you if you were one of like the chosen picked ones. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's see how many minutes we have left. We have, oh my gosh, we have five minutes left. And I, there's so many things I could actually talk about and train on tonight with you guys. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna talk about the little sale flyer right now. Um, ooh, how many of you are party planning for thousand dollar parties? Yeah, I hope you guys are because I think yes, yes, this, yes. This is the way you got to do it. I know that tomorrow night on rally, I think it's Loretta that's going to be training on how to do thousand or plan for thousand dollar parties. Um, I can tell you that um, something that I did was. I could not get this for a while because the sample was not available. And so I was doing shows and I'm like, how am I going to showcase this? So what I did was I took this picture offline. I used snippet, be prepared to write this down. You're going to love me later, but every computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC, if you go into the search bar, you will find something called the snippet tool. And that snippet tool will allow you to snip out any picture you see on the internet 
and it's an actual picture and then you can post it and use it. Pretty cool, right? I know you're gonna be excited to use it because it's my favorite tool. Anyways, I snipped it and then I sent it to Staples and I asked them to put it on like a little cardboard, um, like a sign and it didn't cost me very much to do. And before I snipped it, I actually put to Pick Monkey, which if you've been to some of my trainings, you know I talk about that. And I wrote basically this and this in like different letters so you could see it because when you print this off you can't see it and it basically said nine hundred dollar party thousand dollar party and then i put this on a little easel on my on my um shows on my table and that was my way of showcasing it and people were like you get all of that i'm like all of it dude and they're like a thousand dollar party it seems so hard i'm like it's really not i and i tell them you just have to work with me. It's a partnership. It's not me doing all the work. It's not you doing all the work. If you want almost $500 worth of Tupperware, probably more than that for free or for a very, 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 very little ridiculously low price, then we have to work together. And so I asked them, I, you know, this is how, this is how I do this. Okay. Um, I called them and I say, I need to know who your top five best friends are that no matter what, they have to be at that party. So I'm on the phone and I'm like, and I'm, I can see Callie. So Callie, who are your five best friends? And she'll tell me their names. Or it doesn't be best friends. It can be like my aunt, my cousin, my best friend, my neighbor, whatever. Who's the five people that if, if they were not at the party, you wouldn't have it because you were disappointed, right? And they'd tell me the top five people. I go, all right, so who are your next five people that you really, 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 really want there? But maybe they're a little bit secondary on the list from the first five people, right? And they tell me who those people are. Okay, great. I now have her list of 10 people and I go, I need their addresses, please. I want to send them a special invitation that only they get and they will send me addresses because they won't send addresses in the other way. And then I put in there like little glitters and fun and I send them a sale flyer and I just make it really cute, a special invitation. You are specially invited. And, um, and then those people will come because I call Kelly, Kelly, I call her maybe a few days before the party. So have you heard back from, and I have all their names right there. Oh, well, you know what? I'm waiting to hear back from so-and-so and so-and-so. Call them and find out because make sure they got their invite and all of that. It's a way to get 10 people at that party. It's a way to at least get 10 orders because if four of the 10 can't make it, you've got six people there and four people who had a special invitation with the sale flyer and they're now going to order. I hope you like that tip because it really has helped me in my parties. Um, and one girl specifically, the party was such a short period of time and it was around the corner that I hand delivered all five. I did five. I hand delivered five of them. And she was like, you're going to do that. And I'm like, absolutely. It took me a little while to do because let's be real, I live in a bigger area than I do. But, um, regular sale flyer. I did because it wasn't in May when I did, you know, those like May's just coming up, but I would put both because there is two. Um, but I hand delivered them and everybody that I hand delivered to showed up at that party and they were so impressed and they were so happy and there was all, like communication already. And the one woman had a, such a fantastic house that I was like, Ooh, I want to get inside your house. Let's do a party. And she's like, Oh, all right. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, just cause your house is insane. I mean, like I just have to get inside there. One way to get house to really call them is to put gold stars and a couple of them and tell her she'll get a special gift if she finds out who got them. Ooh, that's a good one too. I like that. That's a good tip. Thank you. But these are ways to party plan people without being so rigid. I mean, the one I've been getting some tips of my own that I'm kind of, you know, learning lessons. And one of the learning lessons that I can tell you is that I'm becoming so much more friends. I'm not looking at these people like they're customers or clients, right? I'm looking at them like I'm walking into one of my best friend's places. And I act like that. I don't, I'm not like all rigid, like, I'm a tough worthy, and this is who I am, and hello, and hello. No, I'm hugging them. Can I get you a glass of wine? And then I go get the wine. I help the hostess. I mean, it is legit like a friend's house. And since I've moved here, I also bring a bottle of wine to every party. I ask them, you want red or white, and I bring it. And it's not expensive. And that's how I do the corkscrew. I'm selling like cray cray over here. With the special invitations, do you use loose glitter or confetti? Do you put anything else with it? You, I use whatever I have. It's usually loose glitter because it's what I have on hand. But if I had confetti, I would use that. 
And do I put anything else with it? Um, it's like a little card. I make little card invitations and I can write whatever I want on them, you know? And so I don't usually put much more in there, um, but that's what I put. Yep. So, um, all right, guys, hang on just a second. I have to go get the cake. Hang on. One momento, please. All right. Let's see how it worked. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see if it's done. You're supposed to like use a toothpick. I don't have a toothpick, but I know that you can also look on the side like, that. yeah, that's done. I know stuff. Just saying. Okay. So we need the lid. Oh, wait a minute. This is a cutting board. That's because we're cutting the cake. That makes sense. So this is an old Tupperware cutting board that was from the bread keeper that I got. I don't even remember how I got it. I think Pam gave it to me like forever ago. Drum roll. All right, well, we're gonna drum roll and see when it flips, right? Oh, I'm nervous. One, two, three. Let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we should take a commercial break. <laughs> it's stuck, it. isn't it? It's not stuck. I got it. Not stuck. <laughs> Ow. Ouch! I turned on the oven. Okay, that's not good. We're going to fix this, guys. Because things happen at parties. And I should have done this all the way around. It wouldn't have stuck. So, we're gonna do this. Ta da! This is why. Well, it's already cut. <laughs> yep, it is already cut. We're probably not gonna layer it. We're, we are gonna make it look good, though. So, something about the surprise, though. If I put the things in the middle, they're gonna fall right through. That don't make sense. Hmm. When you have the hole in the center, Sam, yeah. when it comes out normal, like a bunt cake, yeah, you I saw did. it, and then you glue the layers together, and then before you do the top, you, you pour in the candy, and then you're supposed to put a sugar cookie in the set on the top, and then frost the whole thing, and then oh, when they cut that. into it, they will open up and then it's pinata. Oh, it all spills out. I don't think we're going to have that tonight, guys. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's going to, you could make a trifle. You could like mix everything <laughs> together. You could put jello with the cake and do something. I don't know. <laughs> Any suggestions? <laughs> you need the cake to be cold in order to cut it. Okay. Make cake balls. Perfect trifle. What's well, a trifle? Trifle. That's what Ariel's dad has. You know, a trifle. A little mermaid. Trifle. All right. That's I a trident. Trident. What is that truffle? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Take a take a bowl and take your little pieces of of cake and then mix up pudding and then put it like make layers. Like over. <laughs> <laughs> Use the box cake. That's what and I did. That's our fun food and bags tonight, guys. <laughs> Just take your frosting with yeah. your cake and mix it all together. With the cake? With the cake. And then you just make little balls, and then that's cake balls. And then just little bite sized things. I have people coming over tonight, actually. I'm having a little party at my in my pool tonight and with some of my new friends, and I thought this was gonna be the dessert. It's not. <laughs> but I might It will be as soon as you make cake balls. You're right, I think I'm gonna make cake balls. All right, guys, I got it. We'll make cake balls. But let's go over, because we have to turn this food gun facts off and do the aha drawing, because I know you wanna know what the aha drawing is gonna be. Edison, you have to move, baby, move. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, all right, guys. Thanks for watching if you're watching the recording. This is not normal. Okay.